Hey folks, Dad here with Elevation Diecast Racing. Happy Friday. It's time to run some Friday Night Lightning. 2123 out of the gate. I'd say this yellow one's done. Let's throw him up against the blue Willie's Gasser. Close race. 2121. We'll switch lanes. Wow. 2121 and a less beat. Let's run them again. What is 1000's difference? 2121 and a 6000's beat. Both of them running pretty good. Now we got a 216 and a 219. 216 by the Speedy Blue Willies. We'll move him up. And then we'll race this Mustang, super sharp, metal on metal. Cannot complain at all about this car. Very nice. Cool to add to the collection. Now, let's see if he's got any speed. Oh yeah, 2117, he's running better. Oh yeah, let's go, 2113. And that's good enough for him to move on. Let's take a look at the GTOs and see what they're pulling this week. We gotta fill that number four spot. Hopefully we can get at least one of these cars into the top 10. And we got a new F-250. I wanna show you. Wow, 2103 and 107. That's what I'm talking about. We might get two in the top 10. 2103 and a 4,000 speed. Wow, GTO pulls it off too. So the winner of this one will face the gold GTO. Loser will face the red GTO. Both threw down some pretty good times. Definitely going to speed up the rank this week. Roaring Rudolph, look at him go. And uh, 2102. And a 2113 is not bad by the Charger. Greater than 11,000 speed and a 2102 needed by the Charger. I don't see it happening. And that Roaring Rudolph got another treatment at the speed shop and is proving to do pretty well. So we'll put him up against them. Let's roll the Charger and the GTO. Wow, Charger on the back end, 2110 and an 8,000 speed. Wow, 2107. So both of these cars, 2107 and a 2,000 speed by the Charger. Kind of like when they start breaking in. Okay. So... A little inconsistent out of both of these, and that's why I think they're having problems staying in the ranks because of inconsistency, and that'll do it. Inconsistency will lose your race really fast. Yeah. I just don't think these two castings have it. Not these two particular ones. 2120 and a 2.9 will not cut it. So... We'll take one final look at these two particular cars. This black GTO, such a sweet car. This thing feels like it should be fast, and if it had good wheels, both of these cars would be, well, they'd be fast. I'm just gonna run them just because, and then be on the lookout for their replacement. Look at the wobblers. It's the wobblers. Oh man. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But that's Johnny Lightning. So we have our final four. We'll roll them off. Let's check out this truck. I found this guy at the racetrack today. Arrived nice and quiet. 
he does press over the 70 gram mark at 72.9 let's give him a couple runs and uh, see how he does whoa whoa you see that what's he doing this lane so quiet 2087 wow okay um yeah let's put him aside for a moment and let's roll these and i think we definitely have a new number one i think i don't think he's fast enough to get into the top tier although he might be we're definitely going to give him a shot Warren Rudolph can't get it done against the gold GTO running 2114 and a 6,000 feet gold GTO now on the outside let's just see oh yeah 2104 he's running good times and 2113 isn't too awful bad by Rudolph. Let's check out the Mustang versus the Willys then and see who takes it out of these. Mustang took off like a shot. 2119 and a 7,000 speed. 2119. So he beat him. It looks like he's dog earing. Yeah, he's got some kind of a turn on that wheel. I bet if I straighten that out, he'll become a lot faster. We're going to uh We're gonna work on him. We're gonna put him over in the shop for now. And uh we'll visit him next week. So this Willie's not getting it done all right so out of seven we got three left rowan rudolph trying to get back into the gatekeeper spot but he's got to beat that fox body mustang can he do it oh he can with a six thousand feet not too bad two 104 and a greater than six thousand feet and he won't do it We're gonna switch them up one more time, just to make sure. Oh, 2108 and an 8,000 speed. Okay, Mustang's waking up. These cars, they need a couple laps to warm up. So, Ruhr Rudolph needs a 2108 and a greater than 8,000 speed. Or he's going back to the park Back to the back parking lot. He got a 2108, but not an 8,000 speed. So, we'll definitely work with him some more. I think he's going to be out, though. And uh, Mustang holds the line. Let's put him up against the GTO. GTO could get in right here. Kind of counting on it. I like this car. Oh, yeah. 2105. 2105 and a 9,000 speed. We'll swap lanes. Get them back up top here. Hope you guys had a good week. Hope you have a good weekend. Yeah. And the GTO is in. Which means the Mustang... We're going to be working on the Mustang this week. So the second stiletto getting in last week at number 29. Let's see if the GTO can beat him out of that spot. Hmm, not yet. 2-1-1 and a 2,000 speed. Wow, close race. And I think the stiletto held him off. He sure did. We'll give the GTO one more shot. 
Oh, two 107 and an 09. Looks like we're warming up here one more time. Two 107 and a 2000 speed or greater. Needed by the stiletto. No, he won't get it. So the GTO will put the stiletto in the gatekeeper spot. And I don't think there's I don't think he's gonna get past this GTO. But you know, we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. Tomorrow will be a real rider race. Looking forward to that. It was brought up on <laughs> the Decide Your Ride that why would I race real riders? It's He compared it to watching paint dry. Well, I'm going to tell you. If you happen to be watching this video, I'll tell you exactly why I run them. Because <laughs> I like to race. I have a formula class with just indie type cars. I have a Baja class with all the rigid knobby little tires. Yeah, just cause I like to. And of course, we got the real rider class. There's some fast real riders and why not race them? That's why Blue GTO needs a greater than 1000 speed. Oh, and he'll get it. So the gold GTO will stay in spot number 29. Which takes us over to that pickup truck right there. Well, I, I think he's, in order to get a shot at the top tier, he's gonna have to beat the fast imports. So, we're going to roll him. I want to see him get into the top tier. <clears throat> I don't know that he can. Good race. Wow, 208.6 to 8.9. That was a whole lot closer than I thought it was going to be. That import's running well. 208.6 and a greater than 3,000 speed needed by the import to keep his number one spot. These cars run so sweet. They are just so quiet rolling down the track. He doesn't get them. He doesn't get them. So let's just see what he runs against the gatekeeper. Mr. Martin. Let's see it. Wow, he got him. Not by much though. 2091 to 92 got to keep in mind the top tier has been getting faster so it's getting harder to get into into that bracket of cars so a 2091 and a greater than 1000 speed will be needed Two oh eight seven. wow he did get them 2087 and a 4,000 speed. Oh yeah. 2083. Wow. Look at that. So that'll get Mark Martin in the 41 to 50 weight class. Wow. Got some top tier runners into the case. Which means the top tier is getting faster. I like it. I dig it. There's that other F-250. Let's see how far this green one gets. Let's roll him against Eamon's Crazy Bird. Wow, that bird got him. <laughs> the bird said, you ain't getting it. 2081 and a 6,000 speed. Yep, he's not going to get past the Roadrunner. Which means he'll sit on the gatekeeper spot or be number 38, which, hey, I'm okay with that. He won't be in the top tier for long, but he'll definitely be the, the fastest in the Johnny class before too long. Oh, yeah. Wow, he got that. He got him. 
I think this guy and Mr. Martin need to race. What do you think? 2085 and an 8,000 speed. Hmm, very interesting. So this truck running well. Running well for a Lucy pickup. Yeah, he got him. He got him. And this will be for the gatekeeper spot in the top tier. It's only fair. And wow. 2086 and a 3,000 feet by the arrow. Let's see if that Babylon can beat him out. No, he cannot. So it indeed is the arrow that is going to be in the gatekeeper spot. Which means the Valvoline will have to contend in the 41 to 50 weight class to see where he'll place. So not bad for Johnny Lightning tonight with a truck showing up at the racetrack ready to roll. And let's see where the stiletto sits as the gatekeeper. 2114. So the Johnny class getting a little tighter to get in. 2114 is the target time to get into the Johnny class. So that's all I got for you this week on Friday Night Lightning. Next week, though, should be a stacked episode as we are going to have a field of new lightning showing up at the track. Probably the last Friday night lightning before entry starts showing up and we start putting aside and putting an order and putting the race together. Looking forward to next week's Johnny Lightning, Friday night lightning. I certainly like running these cars. I don't know what you guys think, but they really do need to be in a class of their own. So from all of us over here at Elevation Diecast Racing, if your car isn't fast, at least it'll look good on the shelf.